Do you think that doing good theoretical analysis and doing that in conjunction with the development of algorithms leads to better, more practical systems? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, data sets nowadays are mostly fairly big, and so you cannot just rely on hacking to get speed up you uh, need. You really need uh, something which works well in asymptotic sense. So asymptotics is very, very relevant now. On that hand, there is a big gap between theory and practice often, and you really have to fill this gap. And uh, most developers, uh, it, it's hard for developers, they, they don't have the background, and also they don't have the time to read the latest paper, and uh, within the time they have to develop a product to uh, implement the best algorithm. Mm. So I think it's very important to come up with theoretically good algorithms and investigate their practicality and describe their practical variants. And do you see that happening by people working in teams, or do you think people like each individual has to be expert in both uh, the engineering uh, side and also the analysis? No, it's best done in teams because uh, there are some individuals who are good at both. Uh, but in general, there are people who are better at uh, inventing new math, and there are people who are better at sort of engineering new algorithms. So it can be done in teams or through the process of scientific publication. Someone publishes a, a theoretically good algorithm, and then someone else uh, gets a good implementation of it. For me, algorithms have several components. There is a mathematical component of algorithms, which is formal analysis of algorithms, where you prove people bounds. And then there is an engineering aspect where you try to implement the fastest algorithm you can on a real problem. And I like to take the approach which is based on scientific method, which combines the two approaches. So you sort of uh, observe the real world, make some computational models, and uh, then you try to design an algorithm for it and prove uh, some things about it. And then we implement this algorithm and see if it performs as uh, theory predicts. And if not, you try to uh, modify the theory and I just have to explain the behavior of this algorithm or invent a better algorithm. How do you even measure the asymptotic running time in practice? Do you, do you run on bigger and bigger random examples, that sort of thing? Uh, it's easy on synthetic data, yeah. If you have uh, a certain generator which where you can set parameters, then you can measure how the algorithm does. Uh, on real world data, it's much harder. Yeah, right, because it doesn't necessarily uh, scale in a natural way. And also for road networks, for example, there are only two natural examples, namely Europe and uh, North America. <laughs>